Hi girly pops. I I'm <laughs> so nervous to film this video for some reason. Oh my gosh, there's Spock. Spock's gonna be here with me. Hi girly pops, welcome back to my channel. I know that there's gonna be such a mixture of people watching this video. Some of you guys have literally been watching me since my dance videos, which was so long ago, and I was a child, and I still am a child, and you're still watching me, and watching me go through all of these insane milestones. And there's also gonna be people who came from my Instagram who just found out about me from the engagement, and there's also gonna be some people who came here just to leave a comment about how young I am or about how I'm rushing my life. So hello to all of you guys. <laughs> Welcome to this video. I am just so excited and I still have butterflies. It happened like two days ago and so I just want to capture this feeling in a video because I can't wait to watch these videos back. So here's the ring. I'm wearing it on my middle finger right now because it doesn't fit my ring finger. It's um, a little big for me. I'm actually taking it in to get resized after I film this video. Yeah, Ryan picked it out very well. I basically just made a Pinterest board and gave it to him. There's better pictures of it on Instagram. Yeah, so let's just address the elephant in the room, getting engaged at 19. It's probably why you clicked on this video. And I know that it's probably such a shock to the majority of the people who watch this. Maybe you guys have been following along with Ryan and I's journey. A lot of you guys comment on my pictures every day, like get married already. And so this is something you've been waiting for. And maybe if you're not in that category and you're just a spectator to this crazy thing, you're like, why the heck are you getting engaged and married so young? And I think honestly, if you did come here to leave some sort of comment. I wouldn't waste your breath. I'm honestly it's sad to say, but I'm so immune to that type of judgment because my entire life has been so unconventional. As you guys know, I didn't go to college and I started working full time when I was 17 years old and fully taking care of my mom and my family and being put in a position of a lot of responsibility and having to just grow up pretty fast, you know? And by 18, we had bought a house together. That's obviously super unconventional. So nothing about my life has been normal and I've heard it since the day I started my YouTube channel that starting a YouTube channel would be a stupid idea. Not going to college would be a stupid idea. Why are you buying a house so young I've heard it all before and so this is nothing new you have the right to your opinion but it's really not gonna phase me and it's definitely not gonna convince me to not do the things that I do in my life I think it's also really interesting the culture of it because back in the day people used to get married so young and as time progresses people are getting married a lot later so in Utah it's super normal to get married at like 18 19 20 and then in LA it's normal to get married at 30 or maybe never even married at all like I have a family member who doesn't believe in marriage and so she'll never get married and so so it's a lot of a cultural thing where you grew up, how you were raised, and being Christian has a lot to do with it, especially for me because when it came to dating, I dated with the intention of marriage. I didn't want to just date around. I wanted to date someone with the purpose of marriage because you either end up married or you end up breaking up. And Ryan and I were so intentional from day one. We literally talked about marriage on our first date, hours before we started dating. And that's how intentional this whole process was for us. This wasn't something that we were going into lightly. And another circumstance that makes this so different is that we both have lived such unconventional lives. He dropped out of college and started working full time. And so we both have just been kind of living these very unique lives. And the fact that we can live them together and really understand the circumstances that we both are in and enjoy that together, all of that stuff just makes it so special. And it feels really good to have someone who fully understands everything and who has the same exact morals as me, respects and sees marriage in the same light as I do. We both take it with so much weight, it's not something that's exciting to me because I get to post it on social media or because I get to have a big wedding. Never cared about a wedding growing up. I thought I would never have one. I wasn't that girl like pinning wedding dresses and rings since I was little. Like I didn't do any of that stuff until this year when I knew that we were gonna get really serious. We see marriage as such a serious thing and we literally don't even see divorce as an option. We really see marriage as a choice and a choice that you commit to. It's not just something that we're doing because we're in love or in lust. It's a decision that we're going to make for the rest of our lives together. It's been so special to be on that journey with him and to see how we've both grown together and to kind of feel the shift in the relationship. Of course, we were always serious from the start, but there was definitely a shift after the past eight months of us living together that, where something just felt super sturdy. Like there wasn't even 0.1% of doubt anymore. It was just 100% we knew. Yeah, it's been super exciting, but I'm just going to get into some of the questions that I asked you guys on Instagram because a whole bunch of people just randomly followed me on Instagram and I'm sure a lot of you guys have 
have never heard me talk before so I'm just gonna answer some questions one of them was am I going to change my last name and so if you don't know fam is actually my middle name and my real last name is kind of ugly I don't really like it sorry dad so I'm going to change my last name to Ryan's last name which is Trahan which is gonna be awesome because then it's gonna be Haley fam Trahan and I feel like that rhymes almost and I'm very happy to not have my old last name anymore <laughs> so yes I will definitely be changing my last name did you know that he was going to propose so this is really funny I'm sure I made Ryan so freaking nervous because <laughs> so the place where he proposed is really special to us it's where we first said I love you to each other we went there because Ryan was filming a video so his videographer was there and I was like wow that would be really perfect if he tricked me into thinking that he was filming a YouTube video and then the camera would be ready and stuff but then he just actually proposes and it's in a very special place but Ryan had told me that he wasn't even gonna like get a ring until June so I was like okay I'm mean, like maybe he's just lying about that to trick me or whatever and so so the first night I actually thought it was going to happen and I dressed all cute and I honestly did expect it and I had butterflies the whole night and nothing happened they were just filming his YouTube video like they said they were and Ryan seemed super focused on filming his video to the point where after it didn't happen that night I was like okay like I've made it all up in my head he really is just here to film his own YouTube video and the ring is like not even gonna be here until June and he hasn't even ordered it and all of this stuff I went to bed that night <laughs> thinking like okay yeah just give it up Haley like stopping nervous for no reason and making it about you like it's clearly not he's just filming his own YouTube video and like you should just get over it and stop expecting it and so my guard is completely down and then it happened the next day and when I tell you I had no idea I'm telling you I had no idea because first of all my nails look so bad and my outfit was so ugly. I think that my outfit that I was wearing was the most unflattering thing ever. And so clearly I had given up at this point. Like I barely even did my hair or makeup or my outfit. I was just like, yeah, he's literally just like out here filming his YouTube video and then we're gonna go home and he has like something else planned. No, I was not expecting it the day or how he did it at all. And we're actually gonna post like an entire video of the proposal and like how it happened on the Trey family channel. And that's where we're gonna do the entire wedding series. So if you guys are interested in that, go subscribe to that channel. It's gonna be so much fun I have so many videos planned you don't even know I'm so excited was it clear or noticeable that Ryan was nervous the days coming up to the proposal absolutely not like I said he was so focused on this YouTube video that he was filming that it was so believable like it looked like all he cared about was getting the shots for his YouTube video I think that distracted him really nicely and he was so good at hiding it like I had no idea anything was going on until the second that he pulled out the little bottle with the note that said will you marry me so are you happy being engaged so young I definitely am it doesn't it does feel like I'm super young and it doesn't at the same time because like I said since the age of 17 like my life is kind of flipped upside down and everything has been unconventional at this point we aren't following the natural trajectory of most people's lives where they go to college and then they get a job and then they save up enough money to get married and we kind of just skipped like a super large chunk of those years like that would probably take about four years of college and then maybe a year or two of getting a job and getting settled in and maybe like buying your first place so we skipped like six years of that and so obviously we are super young because we skipped so many steps I'm really excited and yeah I mean I don't know what to say I'm just really excited <laughs> okay so I always heard that once you get married the next thing that everyone asks you is when are you gonna have kids and I actually just saw a question that said are you gonna have kids soon Ryan and I both want to live a lot of life before we have kids and I don't want to say an age because you never know how those things work who knows maybe we're married for like only four years and then we really want to have kids and then here I am on a video saying I don't want to have kids till I'm like 28 or something so I've always said my later 20s like past 25 but who knows maybe after being married for for that we'll we'll be ready for kids I can't really say but I'm it's definitely something that's not on my radar right now having kids actually terrifies the living crap out of me so did Ryan let your mom in on the whole thing so Ryan did ask for my mom and dad's blessing a week before which I feel like is uncommon I don't know if people usually just ask the dad but he asked them both he said that when he asked my dad <laughs> my dad took a really long pause and it kind of scared the crap out of him and then my dad said something like this is the easiest answer of my life or something like that like my family loves Ryan so 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 much and I don't even think it was that much of a shock to them and my mom's reaction was so it's so my mom like if you guys met her you would just think this is hilarious but she grilled Ryan she was like well how do you know that Haley's the one like you've never dated anyone else before like don't you want to know and test some other things out to know for sure she's always 
always been super non-biased towards me like growing up as a dancer kids would get off stage and their moms would be like wow like that was the best performance of your life and then I would get off stage and my mom would be like eh like that was okay like she's never been I'm the most amazing thing in the world type of mom she's always been super down to earth and sees things clearly regardless if, if I'm her daughter so she definitely grilled Ryan before she gave him her blessing but of course she did she loves him too destination wedding or something small super small I think like under 50 people and in Texas are you guys going to wait a few years or get married ASAP we have already started planning the wedding and I don't want to tell you guys yet like when it's gonna be but it's definitely not gonna be a few years are y'all doing it for the sex <laughs> okay so as you as some of you guys know we are waiting until marriage because that's a promise I made to myself and to God when I was super super young and it's just a value that I hold it's not something that like I say that people should do it's just something that is valuable to me and we're definitely not doing it for the sex I'm sure that's like what most people's brains go to immediately but like I said from the start like literally since day one I went home and told my mom that this was the guy that I was going to marry and I told a lot of people that even though I knew they were going to think I was crazy I didn't care because I just I knew in my heart that's what was going to happen literally we were we were talking to each other about marriage on day one which I just feel like is so abnormal and other stories that I've heard where people talk about it on day one they do get married so I just feel like there was something so different about Ryan that I just knew and we literally have already have a house together and we are already building this life together and there's nothing more than I want to solidify that and fully commit to that and just I want him to be my husband you know like we already are we've already just built such a life together like I've said already and this is just like another step that I can't wait to take with him and obviously adding that into the relationship is going to be super exciting but I would never make this large of a decision based off of that very temporary thing because people who wait till marriage will even tell you like adding sex to a relationship isn't going to change it and it's only going to be about like five percent of the relationship or something low like that so but anyways Spock and I are sweating a lot so oh I'm sorry buddy I'm gonna turn the AC back on but if you guys want more details and want to follow along follow me on Instagram at Haley fam and follow the Trey family channel and I will see you guys later. Bye!